everyone. I'm going to show you how to make your turkey. And then when you're done putting your turkey together, you'll do a writing. So you're going to need this page. That's going to be for later. So I'm going to set that aside over here. And then you are going to need your brown, your orange page like that. And then you're going to have these colored strips that will be the feathers. You're also going to need glue, um, a black crayon, and scissors. Okay, so first we're going to cut the pieces out. It's a lot of cutting. It's good practice cutting, so you just want to stay on the black line the best you can. And see how I'm turning the page with my other hand? So cutting with one hand, turning the page with the other hand. And I'm just doing little cuts, right? See? I'm not going. I'm just doing little cuts. I'm not even closing the scissors all the way as I go around. I'm just kind of going little tiny bites. Okay, circles are kind of the hardest thing to cut. Well, I guess things with lots and lots of corners are kind of hard too, like these feet are gonna be a little tricky, but we just do our best. Okay, this is the head. And if you wanna follow along with this video, you can even pause. If, if I'm cutting faster than you can cut, you can pause the video, cut your piece, and then press play so that we can actually kind of like do it together. Or you can just watch the video and if you feel like you understand the steps, then you can just watch the whole thing and then just do it either way. So this is gonna go in my recycling bin. And then I'll cut the orange pieces. There's just three, so I have two feet, two legs and feet, and one beak. And this one's gonna be tricky, like I said, because there's all these little curves and corners. So actually, I think I'll cut it off. That'll, that's gonna make it a little easier for me to turn the page. And in nature, every turkey is different. So if yours isn't just like mine or it's not cut exactly on the line, but you still did your best, that's okay. Um, and then I think I'll even cut this one out. So I'll just go like that and cut it off. When I cut the pieces apart, it's easier to cut them. We don't get to cut it very much um, these days. So anytime you have extra time at home and you're looking for something to do, you could make sure that you ask your mom or dad what you can cut because you don't want to cut anything you're not supposed to cut. But maybe they'll give you some paper and you can just practice cutting. It's a really good thing to practice. Okay, and one more thing to cut. And then I'm actually, oh, well, not quite done cutting, but almost done cutting. Okay, so here's the beak. Later, we're gonna write on this and then we'll have to cut that, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So for now, we're done cutting and now we're just gonna put it together. So I like to have the black lines on the back. So that's the tummy. And then this is the turkey's neck. So these are like the feathers. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the side with the black line, 
just at the bottom where the feathers are. I'm not gonna cover this whole thing because that whole thing is not gonna get glued down. So then I can stick it like this. And then for the head, this is the bottom of the head. So the wider part is the top of the head. Sometimes people do it like that. Actually, it kind of works either way, but um, yeah, it's kind of funny either way. You guess you can decide which one you like. Should I try it like this this time? I feel like every year kids do it different. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. So then I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue at the top of the neck and then stick the head on there. That way I'm not putting glue all over the back of the head because that's not gonna stick to anything. So then I'm gonna do the beak. So I'm gonna put the glue on the side of the beak that has the black line and the pointy side goes down. I mean, you could even kind of have it, oops, pointing to the side, I guess, if you wanted, but I think the turkey is facing us, so we'll do it like that. And then I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is turn the legs so that the black lines are on the back. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top of the legs. And then I'm going to lift up my turkey and put one leg behind like that and then lift it up and put one behind like that. So we want the legs coming from behind. We're not gonna stick them on the front. We want them on the back. Okay, this part is a little bit tricky here. So now we're gonna do the feathers. It's tricky, but it's fun. So let me scoot this down so you can see. So for the um, feathers, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the end of one feather. And then just like with the legs, I'm gonna pick up the turkey and stick that feather behind like that. And then I'm going to take the other end because that's a really long feather. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue on the turkey here and I'm gonna take the other end and bend it and glue it to the front. So you're gluing that feather to the back and the front. And I have to hold it down a little bit because it, it's gonna wanna come up if I let go. So I count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And you don't have to do rainbow order. You can if you want, but we're just gonna make sure we get all the feathers on. Stick it behind. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Put a little glue on the front. Take the end and bend it and glue it to the front. One, two, three, four, five. And I can also kind of just on this uh, curved part here, I don't need to fold it, like press it really hard, but I could give it a little press and then it won't be so bouncy. It won't want to pop up so much. Okay, I think maybe I'm gonna go out of order just for fun. Just glue on the end. Stick it behind, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Glue on the front. Take the other end. Stick it down on the front, so we're gluing on the back and the front. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a little push. Okay, and then we're gonna do that two more times. One, two, three, four, five. 
And then I can do some eyes. Oops, see that one came off. Maybe I didn't hold it long enough. Okay, so we're done with our turkey, and then we're just going to do the writing. So, it, it has a sentence starter for you. It already has this part. It says, I am thankful for, and then you have to decide what you are thankful for and sound it out. I'm not even going to do one. I'm not even going to write one and give you an example, because sometimes when I do that, Kids just copy and write the exact same thing that I did. And I want you to think of something that you are thankful for. And I want you to sound it out on your own. I don't want you to copy me. So that's what you would do next. You would write what you're thankful for. And then you would cut this out. Throw this in the recycling. And the very last thing you need to do is put some glue on the back. You wanna glue after you wrote. Cause if it's gluey, the paper is gonna be a little wet and soft and it's gonna be harder to write on that paper. You might even rip the paper if you write when the glue is wet. So write first and then cut and glue it and stick it right on the tummy there. And it's nice because it kind of covers up the end, the edges of these feathers. So it just looks really nice like that. And that's your turkey.